Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a flip through of the month of July in my Hobonichi Cousin. I have my cousin in this clear vinyl cover by Lauren Phelps Designs, and I've just used some scrapbook paper for the inside. Here, nothing has changed. I do keep this Hobonichi folder with my kits that I'm using or have used and have extras of. And I just switch out this calendar every month. These are free printables by three years apart. Something that I've done recently that I shared on Instagram is start using up vinyl stickers that I have basically had for maybe almost three years now since I found the planner community. And these were really fun to choose and purchase, but I have since realized that I don't really use vinyl stickers very often. So I've been left with this big collection and now I'm actually starting to lay them down. So these are all from Redbubble and they just have some stickers from some of my favorite shows and books and movies. So Gilmore Girls, Friday Night Lights, The Good Place, The Office, Parks and Rec, I'm a Hufflepuff, that's Harry Potter, and the movie Love, Simon, and Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda was the book. I really enjoyed both of those as well. So those were some stickers that I put down here. And to be honest, this is busier than my usual style. So I'm happy to have it on the back cover where I can see it whenever I want. I actually flipped back here by accident before I started filming and had forgotten that I did this. I think it was just last week, but... I'm really, really happy to have found a space for these. Now to find a space for the stickers I still have. I tracked all of my videos in July, as well as my numbers. Still haven't put anything here yet, so we'll see what happens with that. A simple memory spread for the month of July. This sticker is from Alley Cat's Shop. And I use my Uniball Signo in the 0 0.38 for these. So I like this. I just love writing a simple memory or something to kind of caption that day. I built a shelf outside one day. I have no idea why I did that. I think I thought it would be an easier cleanup. And it was. I mean, I didn't have to sweep or vacuum afterwards, but it was one of those super hot, super muggy nights. So I was feeling it. I had a video chat with Rowena from Sojourner, that was fun. A girls day with Sharina, my brother's girlfriend. We went to a park, which was beautiful, but it was by the lake and it smelled really, really bad that day. So that's, that's just a funny memory. The beauty of the flowers and then getting closer to the lake and realizing that it was a very, very hot day after a series of hot days and you could smell it from Lake Ontario. If you've watched my cousin videos before, you'll know that I've tried to make more of a commitment to using the weeklies and July has been really good so far. So I'm just figuring out my style. It's starting to come together for me. I like using washi tape, a sticker to represent something from each day. So this is when we went up north out of the city. We spent some time on the beach, watched a movie. I love using the little icon stickers to highlight little moments and then I just do my writing in black pen. I've played around with fine liners and the uni signo and the jet stream in here so it's really whatever is on hand and what I'm in the mood for. I've also done a little bit of hand lettering with the Tombow Fudenosuke in the hard tip. That's the only one that I find I can hand letter small enough and neat enough to fit into these weeklies. So this day I didn't use a kit, I used some washi tape. This was from Sojourner. I don't know if they still have it in stock. If they do, I will link it. But I thought this was perfect for when we were up north because it had such clear skies that you could really see the stars and it was beautiful. This is a kit from Virgo and Paper. So at the top, I do like to track my kind of wellness or any movement that I do. So I have these stamps, which I've shown before from Carbon Stamps, and I think they're perfect for that. I've been mostly doing dance workouts by MK Fit, which I love, and I just use the 
running shoe to represent that. I've started drawing a music note beside them in later weeks, which I also love. Here I actually went ahead and used some full boxes too, just because I had the space. I'm trying to write down the kind of, they're not bigger memories, but you know, for example, I don't necessarily need to write down if I dust because when I look through this in the future, I want to remember specifics about the day, but specifics that make me feel something. To me, dusting is a chore, <laughs> a habit, and I also have that in my bullet journal. So if I really want to know the last time I dusted, it's there but this is more for a memory overview. So for example, when they laid down new floors or you know, the time Paul and I spent reading in the front on a gorgeous day, like those are things that I want to remember. This is all totally subjective, of course, but it is how I sort through what to write in here and what to just leave in my bullet journal. So we drove home from up north, cleaned my desk, did some shopping, had a video chat, I love these little stickers and how cute they are. This Snorlax from the Coffee Monsters Co. You'll see him pop up a lot on what I consider my lazy days. This was a quieter week. There's a lot more white space, that's okay. I used this washi from Paper Geek Co. Film two videos. I very rarely batch film, if that's even considered batch filming. I think that's the only time I've ever done it actually. So I put a sticker down for it baseball, you know, a phone chat. This is when we had our girls day, watched some movies, ate some fast food, and you know, that filled me up. I love that, that's from Bidu and Co. Most of these little icons that you'll see are from Planner Monkey Co. I have found that I do prefer the black and white or the transparent icons in here. And I like the more colorful stickers at the bottom. I just find that it keeps it slightly more minimal feeling even though it's not minimal but slightly cleaner feeling and less cluttered to my eye and don't get me wrong I love other people's full and colorful spreads but I am learning what works for me this is another gorgeous kit this one is from Raspberry designs I'm playing around where I want to put down the washi tapes and I've learned that I do like to have the top washi underneath this section where I track my movement and wellness. I used some full boxes here as well. And this one does feel a little bit busier to me, but again, I think it's because I don't have that separation here. This is when we went to the park that smelled so bad. Some swimming, wraps. I love that the stickers let me have a really quick glimpse of something that happened every day. Love using these. I had to order more baseball stickers from Once More With Love between watching my brother play and watching the Blue Jays. And this brings us to the last week. So I actually haven't really been doing a whole lot of movement lately and I did think about taking this section out, but I'm going to leave it for now. This is a habit that I'm continually working on and it ebbs and flows. I like using these washi dots to fill in the days that I haven't done anything. So I just try to find one that goes with the color scheme of the week. This week I didn't bother because I had filled this all in at the end of the week and I knew that I hadn't worked out at all. So if I set it up with the kit at the beginning of the week, then I do leave the space for it. And I'm really enjoying it. There's my little music note and I have loved being in the weeks more consistently. If you watched my Avex setup, I did go ahead and choose the kits that I would like to use on specific weeks. So I think I did about every other week. I don't know if I have enough kits for every single week, but I do also know that I don't want it to get too bulky and one kit for me can stretch over multiple weeks, so this was a good way to give them a home and make sure I actually use some. So this is one kit, it's I think a really full kit that I can use for two weeks. Anyways, that was something new that I tried and I'm happy to report that it's working really well for me. Moving to my dailies. So I guess the kind of trade-off for me being more consistent in my weeklies is that I have been less consistent in my dailies, still finding a balance, guys. 
I absolutely love how this monthly review turned out though. I mentioned in my previous event, some of these pages felt a little bit busy for me, so I wanted to figure out how I could simplify. And I love ripping a piece of craft paper there to just cover up the writing that's already here. Before I was trying to do that with washi tapes and whiteout and it worked just fine, but I think that's part of what made it feel busy to me. This was perfect. I'm using these holographic transparent stickers from Shine Sticker Studio. And I've also decided that I would like to put a piece of washi tape that just folds over the page. I love the look of it, but I also love that it helps it stand out a bit if I'm trying to flip to it. This month, still reading Burnout, watching Jay's Loki, The Great British Baking Show. I have a feel good playlist I've been listening to, enjoying some plain Greek yogurt with granola. What else? Creating. Oh, I filmed the most YouTube videos in the shortest amount of time in July. Needing to scale back on my goals. I've talked about that. July let me know that I had a little too much on the go and it was overwhelming for me. So in August, I have scaled back and really focused on a couple of things that I want to prioritize. Wanting some baseball stickers. Good news. I ordered those already. Not loving. Low energy. These are just always really, really fun to fill out. I also put this vinyl sticker down. This is by The Latest Kate, and I have several from her, and they're all kind of wellness or mental health focused. So I love this little guy and seeing him on this facing page. In July, I did not get to my regular affirmations and gratitude. So these pages are honestly a mixture of really minimal memory keeping and I did actually print out some stickers this month. So this is when we were visiting up north. I put down some memories and had fun with just some handwriting, hand lettering practice. For this I did use the Tombow mono drawing pen in the 0.1 and the Uni Signo for these smaller bits. So this is just a picture of Paul in the golden hour lighting which was really nice. Here we had a day where we went to the tennis courts. So Paul and his brother and wife all played tennis and I sat and read this book by Morgan Harper Nichols, which is gorgeous. And I also just went for a slow and lovely walk around the track that was there. It was the tennis courts were out of high school. So it's just funny to me that they're all running around and exercising and here I am on my chair in the shade with a book, which is about sums up my level of interest or ability in sports. I'm a great spectator. I'm a great spectator, but I am not an athlete. This is from the Shine Sticker Studio Stay Home book that you can get at Michael's. We had a beach day here. I used some of this gold foiled wave washi, which I thought was perfect. We watched Luca and that Silenzio Bruno is such a beautiful part of that movie. This is another sticker from the Shine Sticker Studio book. And I used the Sailor Shikiori brush pens for the colored hand lettering that you'll see in here. So I am still loving these. They live in this large pen case by Sandy by the Lakeside, which is perfect. This also fits Tombos beautifully. And yeah great, great color selection and just a lot of fun to use. I'm still putting in thumbnails of the videos that I post and I've just kind of used this timeline section for a couple of notes about that day. This is something I filled out after the fact. I was in front of the TV. I felt like playing around. Honestly, there is so much overlap between this and the weeklies in my bullet journal. And I knew that, but I still wanted to put something down on the pages and just have fun with it. So it is still fun to flip through. Here I was talking with my friend Maria, who was lovely enough to show me some of her standard notebooks on a video chat. So I started making notes about some standard insert options and I'm going to do a more thorough version of this in my bullet journal. Another video some dusting. This makes it look so glamorous. This is from Shine Sticker Studio as well. 
This is the first of my brother's baseball games that Paul and I went to. So the field, my little setup in the shade, and Paul and I. Vaccine, <laughs> sick day, love. I love these transparent stickers from Shine Sticker Studio. The MLB All-Star Game, Vladdy from the Jays was the MVP, which was super fun. This is what I thought I would be doing for this month, the same as I did for the first part of the year, write my affirmation, a little note about it if I wanted to, what I'm grateful for and what would make today great. I did go ahead and set the month up with these kind of boxes, but it's this really subtle gray. I used my Stadler Triplus Fineliner for that. So when it didn't happen, I just wrote over it and left it blank and it's not standing out. Here we went shopping. I did a little note. This is from Pumpkin Paper Co., but I did a little note that this was actually Paul because he bought some shirts that he loved and I don't know if I ended up getting anything. Maybe, I think I got a workout bra actually, but yeah, it's funny that we went shopping and he's the one who, who had the most fun with it that day. He is not much of a shopper at all, but we also hadn't really been shopping in person in, you know, maybe a year and a half. So it was a nice, safe trip. The girls' day. I love these reflective stickers. Same book from Shine Sticker Studio. I really had fun with that. This is by Crystal Creates. Yes, we ordered McDonald's. And yes, it was delicious. And donuts from Once More With Love sticker. And the donuts were from Tim Hortons. And very good. We've been watching Loki. Here is where I actually started using those stickers from Redbubble. And it had come with this logo. Is that their logo, I guess? So got to put that in here. my cousin Yvette flip through for the first half of the year. Another baseball evening. This was a gorgeous night. I had brought my standard inserts from 2020 to flip through both for nostalgia purposes to look at what we were doing a year ago and also because I am seriously considering a standard for 2022 or at least to start 2022. This is my stationary stockpile challenge for July, the collab that I do with Dakshina. The theme this month was summer, so this is bright and happy. The video chat that I had with Rowena from Sojourner, visiting Paul's brother and sister-in-law, another video, still going with Loki, A swim, a phone call. I love this because it came with the little girl dusting in the box and whenever I talk to my friend it's a long chat so I have time to do a good amount of dusting. Building a new side table and the Blue Jays are playing at home in Toronto after 670 days. And that brings us to the end. So it was a pretty basic month in terms of the daily pages. And I would really like to find more of a balance, but I still find them fun to flip through. I'm still working out what I might be using for my journal next year. And it's fun to think of all of the options. If you know what you're going to use for your journal next year, please feel free to let me know. And if you've been following or using any journal prompts that you're loving, I would love to hear about those below as well. I do have some that I'm planning on looking into, but it's always really great to know what you guys are actually using and enjoying. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.